Good day, my dear learners. I am Teacher Shira, and welcome to another English class with me. Last week, we have learned the importance of noting a detail from a text that we've heard or read. For today's lesson, we are going to tackle the purpose, key structure, and language features of various types of informational or factual text. Before we begin our lesson for today, don't forget to subscribe on my channel, ring the notification bell for more updates, like, share, and comment in this video. Because learning is bliss, learn with Teacher Shira. Did you know that there are actually two types of text? The first one is what we call the literary text, and the second is what we call the factual or informational text. Let us differentiate the two. First, we have the literary text. Literary text aims to entertain or elicit an emotional response by using language to create mental images. On the other hand, factual or informational text aims to inform, instruct, or persuade the reader by giving facts and information. For today's lesson, we are going to focus on factual or informational text. Let's begin. Informational or factual texts are materials that provide significant information or details about a particular person, place, thing, event, issue, and the like. It informs the readers on true, fact-based information. These include a wide range of non-fiction, historical, scientific, and technical texts, including autobiographies and biographies, books about history, social studies, sciences, and the arts, directions and even manuals, forms, and information displayed in graphs, charts, or maps, and other digital resources on a range of topics. Take a look at this picture. This is the Luneta Park. Can you enumerate some facts about it? Did you know that by using facts or simply describing this place, you will be able to write a text or paragraph that provides factual information on the given picture? That's right! Providing factual description is one of the ways in writing informational or factual texts. Now let us dig into the different types of factual or informational text. These are sequence, description, cause and effect, comparison contrast, and problem and solution. For the first type, we have here sequence or procedural text. The purpose of sequential or procedural text is to describe or present statements, events, or items in order and enumerates procedures or steps in doing something. For us to identify a sequential text, we must ask ourselves the signal questions or key structures. What statements, items, events, or steps are listed? Do they happen in this order? Do they always happen in this order? We also have here the features or signal words that indicates a sequential text. We have here the words first, second, next, then, before, after, finally, following, not long after, and soon. Information using sequence may be presented using the graphic organizers such as timeline, steps, and cycle.
Let me read you an example of a procedural text or sequential text. How to make banana pizza. Some people love banana pizza. Yes, it sounds crazy. However, almost everyone who tried it is a fan. In fact, banana pizza is wildly popular in Sweden. Here's how to make it. First, dissolve a package of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar in one cup of warm water. Add one fourth cup of canola oil and a dash of salt. Slowly stir in three and one half cups of flour. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then transfer the dough to a floured surface and knead it until it becomes smooth and elastic. Put it in a bowl, cover, and set the bowl in a warm place. In about 45 minutes, it will double. Next, press half the dough onto a greased 12 inches pizza pan. Now, you must decide if you want to make a savory pizza or a sweet pizza. For a savory pizza, spread the dough with tomato sauce, add banana slices, and top with curry powder. You may want to use other ingredients, smoked cheese or ham for example. Alternately, you can make a sweet pizza. Spread the dough with smooth peanut butter, follow with banana slices, and sprinkle with brown sugar. Top with crushed peanuts or equally good maple syrup. Bake for about 10 minutes. Finally, eat! For the next type, we have here description. Its purpose is to describe a person, place, thing, idea, or concept by explaining its features and characteristics or by giving examples. To identify a descriptive text, we must ask ourselves the signal questions or key structures. What specific topic, person, idea, or thing is being described? How is it described? What is important to remember about it? And these are the following features or signal words for a descriptive text. We have the phrases, for instance, such as, an example, to illustrate, and the word characteristics. Information using description may be presented using these graphic organizers. Let me read you an excerpt of a descriptive text. It was a cold gray day in late November. The weather had changed overnight, when a backing wind brought a granite sky a mizzling rain with it. And although it was now only a little after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the pallor of a winter evening seemed to have closed upon the hills, cloaking them in mist. You can see that the writer had carefully chose his words so that the reader could almost see and feel the weather that was occurring. For the third type, we have here cause and effect. Cause and effect refers to what happened, which is the effect, and why it happened, which is the cause. These are the key structures or signal questions for cause and effect. What happened? Why did it happen? What caused it to happen? And for the features and signal words, we have here, so, because, since, therefore, this led to, reason why, as a result, may be due to, effect of, consequently, and for this reason. 
This is an example of a graphic organizer that can be used to present a cause and effect information. Now let us read a text that shows cause and effect relationship. The hard life of farmers. The lack of rain and snow has horrible effects on farmers. With no rain, their land dries up and it is very difficult to grow anything. When the crops fail, the farmers haven't any choice but to get a second job in order to make the money they need. Farming is a full-time job with a second job. Farmers are overworked, stressed, and even depressed. Many farmers end up selling their land. Some farmers have accepted the government program, the Conservation Reserve Program, or CRP, which is the land is left idle to let the grass grow and must be left idle a certain number of years. While the land is in CRP program, some farmers have taken outside jobs. This is why, when it doesn't rain, you notice that most of the farmers are very crabby. As a farmer's daughter, I have experienced some good times and bad times. I have gained a great respect for farmers everywhere. For the fourth type of informational text, we have here comparison and contrast. Comparison and contrast shows or present how two or more things are alike and or different. These are the key structures or signal questions for comparison and contrast. We have the questions, what items or things are being compared? In what ways are they alike? In what ways are they different? We also have here the following features or signal words. We have here the words, same as, similar, alike, as well as not only but also both instead of on the other hand and different from a venn diagram is the most suited graphic organizer to show comparison and contrast Now let us read a text for comparison and contrast. My dogs. Although I raised Macri and Obi from puppies, they have completely diverse personalities. Obi is a six-year-old male Pomeranian, whereas Macri is a one-year-old female Boston Terrier. Obi is small and soft, unlike Macri who has bristly hair and is much bigger. Macri insists on sleeping on the bed under the covers every night. On the other hand, Obi will only sleep on the floor under the bed. Obi is tremendously loyal and uptight. However, Macri is hyper and friendly to anyone she meets or sees. Around other dogs, Macri cowers to the larger dog, yet Obi will always stand his ground never giving up until he is scolded. Given that they were both treated the same way all their life, it is hard to believe that they are so different in everything they do. Now for our fifth and last type of factual and informational text, we have here problem and solution. Problem and solution tells about the problem and the possible solutions to it. These are the questions we needed to ask ourselves or the key structures or signal questions for problem and solution. Number one, what is the problem? Why is this a problem? Is anything being done to try to solve the problem? What can be done to solve the problem? These are the features and signal words. Question is, dilemma is, the puzzle is, to solve this, one answer is, one reason for this problem is.
This is an example of a graphic organizer that can be used for problem and solution. Let me read you an excerpt of a text that shows problem and solution. Obesity and poor fitness decrease life expectancy. Overweight people are more likely to have serious illness such as diabetes and heart disease, which can result in premature death. It is well known that regular exercise can reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke which means that those with poor fitness levels are at an increased risk of suffering from those problems. Changes by individuals to their diet and their physical activity can increase life expectancy. There is a reliance today on the consumption of processed foods, which have a high fat and sugar content. By preparing their own food and consuming more fruit and vegetables, people could ensure that their diets are healthier and more balanced, which could lead to a reduction in obesity levels. In order to improve fitness levels, people could choose to walk or cycle to work or to the shops rather than taking the car. They could also choose to walk upstairs instead of taking the lift. These simple changes could lead to a significant improvement in fitness level. Now let us have a recap of what we have learned today. Factual or informational texts are texts or materials that provide significant information or details about a particular person, place, thing, event, issue, and the like. There are five types of factual or informational text. First, we have the sequence. Sequence are informations that are constructed in a chain so that the writer can lay out the steps in a process or series of events or hierarchy. Description, on the other hand, explains a topic often in considerable detail. Cause and effect focus on an event or occurrence and then tells the causes and effects that it has. On fourth, we have comparison and contrast that describe similarities or differences between objects, places, or events and the similar or different qualities that are linked back and forth. Lastly, we have the problem and solution that presents the problem and several possible solutions of a particular topic. I hope you understand our lesson for today, my dear learners. For today's activity, read the article The Structure of the Flower, identify its type, note down some details, then convert the details of the given text into a diagram using appropriate graphic organizer. Do this in your notebook. This is the text for our activity. You can read it now and then answer afterwards. This is all for today, my dear learners. Goodbye and God bless.